William Rutu, a new vision for Kenya. The Republic of Kenya is a nation in Eastern Africa. After Nigeria and South Africa, it has the third largest economy in Sub-Saharan Africa. Nairobi is the capital of Kenya. It is a large city with a spectacular landscape and an abundance of wildlife, much of which is contained within parks reserves and safari regions. Nairobi, like many other African metropolises, is concentrated with modern skyscrapers that look out over vast Shannon towns in the distance. The Kenyan government has kept infrastructure development at the top of its priority list despite the COVID-19 consequences that severely hampered the majority of the country's economic growth. The Kenyan government has been channeling development projects worth billions of dollars that have started to take off since 2012, since it is one of the main business and transportation hubs in East Africa. The value of Kenya's construction business increased by 11.8% in 2021, one of the greatest rates for that particular year, according to data made public by the Kenya Bureau of Statistics, KBS. Continue watching Africa Reloaded to the very end to learn about the 15 initiatives that William Rutu is leading to transform Kenya. Before we start, kindly make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. 15. Nairobi Railway City The government has finally revealed the master plan for the projected Nairobi Railway City, which aims to reduce congestion in the city after over a decade of waiting. The project, which was unveiled in 2010, calls for the building of a 425-acre urban area between Banyala Road and the hale Salisi Avenue Uru Highway, containing, among other things, residential and commercial structures and transit stations. 14. Pinnacle Tower The project, which was inaugurated in May 2017, includes a five-star hotel and a 300-meter tall office building that would surpass Leonardo in Durban, South Africa. The 1,000 feet twin Pinnacle Towers, which are Africa's tallest building and are located in Nairobi, Kenya, have 255 rooms, including one fortified floor, a Hilton hotel, 20 floors of offices, 200 residential homes, three floors of basement parking, a gaming area, an upscale shopping center, and a helipad. They also have a gaming zone, a luxury shopping mall, and a helipad. After Egypt's famous tower, Pinnacle Tower will be the second tallest structure in Africa when it is finished. The project's overall cost is anticipated to be $200 million. 13. Mau Mau Road Project a 540 kilometers long road is being built to commemorate the contribution of Mau Mau's independence warriors to the liberation of Kenya from colonialism. The Chris and Mau Mau Road provides a new route into Nairobi for three central Kenyan counties. The road will begin from Kataka in Limuru, travel via Kame Hindu, Kibitroi, and Kendu, and then turn into Kinyona, Kigumo, and Kichi in Murai. In addition to paying tribute to the Mao Mo war heroes, the roadway that runs through Mount Kenya's fertile agricultural zone will also significantly increase the region's tourism and agricultural industries. Mama Highway will pass through three counties, including KM Boneri and Nandario. It is anticipated to cost more than $229 million. 12. Kennel Iziola Marula Road the Trans-African Highway 4, which runs from Cairo, Egypt, to Cape Town, South Africa, includes a segment in Kenya called the Kennel Iziolo Dual Carriageway Project. The project involves 84 kilometers of dueling. The Kenanol Iziolo Marula Highway has grade separated intersections, traffic safety improvements, and socially supportive measures. Through the border town of Moyo, it connects Ethiopia with Nairobi, the capital of Kenya. The highway's construction is anticipated to boost trade between Kenya and Ethiopia, alleviate traffic along the route, lower the cost of moving agricultural goods, and lower traffic accidents. The African Development Bank and the Kenyan government jointly fund the project's 257.68 million euro total cost. 11. Kipevu Oil Terminal China Communications Construction Company won a tender to construct Kenya's Kapevu Oil Terminal. The $395.6 million terminal is being built in Mombasa, 
the second largest city in Kenya by a Beijing-based construction company. The terminal can accommodate four vessels, each of which has a carrying capacity of 100,000 deadweight tons and is able to import and export crude oil, heavy fuel oil, aviation fuel, gasoline, and diesel. A liquefied petroleum gas line will be added to the berths, which is expected to stabilize the country's natural gas shortage. By 2023, the facility in Mombasa that is currently under development will be complete, allowing greater volumes of fuel products to enter and exit Kenya. 10. Tanu City After four years of legal disputes that put the project on hold, construction of a 2,500-acre mixed-use development in Ruru began in 2014. It will include a new city with manufacturing spaces, schools, homes, medical clinics, offices, a shopping district, nature areas, a sport and entertainment complex, and homes for over 250,000 residents. In Tadu City, there are already schools and companies open, and a variety of dwellings are being built to suit all income levels. The largest industrial zone in East Africa is the Industrial Park, which is also present. Tatu City creates a special environment for life, business, and recreation that is free from traffic congestion and long-distance travel for all Kenyans, representing a new way of living and thinking. 9. Mombasa Port Extension Project The second container terminal at the Mombasa Port is being built as part of the project. The project was slated to begin in January 2018. Kenya Ports Authority, KP, it received a 339 million US dollars loan to finance the project from the Japanese government in late 2017. Phase 1 has a handling capacity of 550,000 TEU and was finished in September 2020. The port's capacity will increase to 2.1 million TEU with the addition of 450,000 20-foot equivalent units from the second phase of the container project. The development is expected to be finished in 2023. 8. Nairobi Expressway China Road and Bridge Corporation is building this 27-kilometer motorway. It begins in Mulongo and runs through Waiyaki Way to Westlands, connecting Jaikaya to the Central Business District. After two years of construction, the Nairobi Highway was finished in May 2022. The goal of this project is to reduce the growing traffic jams between Mombasa and Nairobi, the country's biggest port city. The expressway connects the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in the east of the city to the Nairobi Lanieru Highway in the west. It is a 27-kilometer route with 10 interchanges and several elevated sections. Travel time during rush hour has been decreased dramatically thanks to the Nairobi Highway, from 2 hours to barely 15. Officials from Kenya described the road as a crucial piece of infrastructure that will accelerate development in Nairobi. 7. Kenya Geothermal Energy Projects Kenya is the eighth biggest geothermal energy generator in the world and the largest in Africa. In six years, the nation in East Africa increased its output from 168 megawatts to 821 megawatts. Kenya offers remarkable potential for the development of geothermal energy, with an estimated geothermal capacity of 10,000 megawatts. Around 150 miles from Kenya's capital Nairobi, in the district of Okuria, the country's first geothermal plant was inaugurated in 1984. Kenya is presently expanding its 23 locations, only four of which have deep wells. While geologists in Okuria maintain geothermal power facilities with a production capacity of roughly 700 megawatts and can power surrounding big cities. 6. Nairobi Mombasa Highway Development Project The Nairobi Mombasa Highway, which now has two lanes, is being converted into a double carriageway in order to alleviate the growing traffic congestion between Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and Mombasa, the country's major port city. After the feasibility studies were finished, the Mombasa and Nairobi Highway is proceeding well. The Korean Overseas Infrastructure and Urban Development Corporation conducted feasibility studies. 
The 482-kilometer Mombasa Nairobi Expressway begins in Campbell County's Jotero along the Nairobi Nakuru route. The Nairobi Mombasa Corridor in Kenya, which transports more than 95% of the cargo from the seaport of Mombasa, is one of the primary growth drivers for improving the transportation infrastructure and economic development. According to estimates, the Nairobi Mombasa Road will likely cost more than $3 billion. 5. Kenya Mega Dam Kenya is currently building a number of mega dams in an effort to address the country's water constraints while also boosting food security and hydropower production. The Kenyan government is spending more than $1.4 billion developing at least five mega dams through various state organizations. These include the $104.5 million dam in Sioim Rooney in West Pokot County, the $692 million Thwake Dam in Kitui, the $255 million Eter Dam in Nakuru County, the $218 million Karamayu Dam in Kimbu County, and the $104.5 million Karamayu Dam. The country's Ministry of Water and Sanitation has also agreed to the construction of three dams, totaling a combined $182 million a $154 million dam in Kambanj, and a $182 million dam in Kambu County. The government also intends to spend enormous sums of money-building dams in the remote counties of Kisumu, Kurdo, Kambu, and Nyan. 4. Kenya Standard Gauge Railway Project a 969-kilometer standard measure railroad between Mombasa and Malabar is being built by Kenya at an estimated cost of 9.9 billion US dollars. It is one of Africa's longest and biggest structural constructions. Kenya's standard gauge railway system will link its cities and connect Kenya to its neighbors, including Uganda, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, and Rwanda via Uganda. The project's first phase entails building a 480-kilometer railway line between Mombasa and Nairobi, which will then be expanded in Phase 2 via a 120-kilometer railway line to Nairobi town. The new standard gauge railway is meant to take the place of the outdated, ineffective railway system with a more up-to-date, quick, and inexpensive SGAR line. 3. The Kanza Technopolis City it is estimated that the cost of this metropolis will exceed $14 billion. This smart city project, which is a part of Kenya's 2030 vision, is being built 64 kilometers south of Nairobi in the country's east and is based on Silicon Valley in the United States. Upon completed, it is anticipated to produce more than 20,000 direct jobs and more than 70,000 indirect jobs. It focuses on commercial operations, including manufacturing, research, and data centers for software development. 2. Northland City The Kangan government is working on a project that will result in an 11,000-acre estate with 250,000 residential and commercial units. This project aims to address the housing crisis in Kenya, particularly in metropolitan areas. The development, known as Northland City, would be located on a rural 11,576-acre plot of property approximately 15 kilometers from Nairobi's downtown and is expected to cost $5 billion. A total of 3,570 acres have been designated for housing, with 3,000 134 acres for low-density housing, 306 acres for high-density housing, and 130 acres for medium-density residential housing, according to the Master Plan for Northland City. 1. Lapset Corridor This project is arguably Kenya's most ambitious venture, also called the Lamu Port, South Sudan, Ethiopia Transport Corridor Project is hoped to boost economic activities and double the country's GDP. Lamu Port Corridor Project is a transport and infrastructure project in Kenya that when complete it will be the country's second transport corridor after Mombasa-Uganda Transport Corridor that passes through Nairobi and much of the Northern Rift. 
The LAPSET Corridor Program is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project, bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. This mega project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, starting with a new 32 berth port at Lamu, Kenya, inter regional highways from Lamu to Iziallo, Iziallo to Juba, South Sudan, Iziallo to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and Lamu to Garson, Kenya, crude oil pipeline from Lamu to Iziallo, Iziallo to Juba, product oil pipeline from Lamu to Iziallo, Iziallo to Addis Ababa, inter regional standard gauge railway lines from Lamu to Iziallo. Iziallo to Juba, Iziallo to Addis Ababa and Nairobi. Three international airports, one each at Lamu, Iziallo and Lake Turkana, three resort cities, one each at Lamu, Iziallo and Lake Turkana, and the multipurpose High Grand Falls Dam along the Tana River. Lapset Corridor is one of the biggest construction projects in Kenya under construction. Thanks for watching this video to the end. And please tell us if these construction projects will burst the economy of Kenya and which amongst the projects you love most in the comment section. Also remember to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded.